ahoy, my friends, Ryder here. All right, so today I will be doing the 120 showcase for Sylvie. Uh, I just actually got her 120 at the turn of the new day. I've been definitely having a lot of fun with Sylvie so far. Um, she's definitely an interesting unit. Sometimes she can be really, really, really clutch, and other times she can be uh, pretty frustrating, I feel like. So, like, I will preface this video with my basic thoughts on Sylvie so far. Essentially, I think that Sylvie is like the first light unit of the coming era and that currently light as an element is not yet ready for her. So like I was saying in the previous video, she really needs like a very strong bruiser. Um, you guys saw that I put in Lucio and he held up pretty good and that's Lucio. He's an 80 cost. So, you know, I've built a lot of different teams with her. Her AI is a little bit finicky. It's definitely can be a little bit tricky to get her to do uh, you know, exactly what you want her to do, but I've been, I think I've probably done like well over a hundred duels with her so far. And, you know, with mixed results, like it depends, it depends like on the team. So like, I'll just go in and show you guys which teams I've been trying. So like, this is the Sylvie Lucio Elena team, super strong team. Lucio comes in pretty good. Then I also tried with Engelbert, but the lack of DPS and the light in peril that Lucio gives is can be tricky. Definitely a strong team for sure. Uh, she works well with a tank. Um, my third team, this is like full evade, Locke and Elena and Sylvie. Uh, this team works pretty well. It's definitely strong. Um, although you come across some wind glaciellas that are built accuracy and then their triple hit and remove the courage makes it very hard to beat them. Uh, but for teams that are a little bit weaker to evade, it, it basically crushes. Um, going into the next one, so I did try like a yin-yang dark light team with Joker, Leela, and Sylvie because they actually all get her bonus from her card. I checked, it's right here. So like you can see that like Dagger Dancer is there and Wild Card. Um, so that's definitely interesting that she fits in with them. Um, I couldn't quite get it to run exactly how I wanted. I tried taking out Joker and putting in Elena, still had mixed results. I went through a bunch of different TMRs, um, slotting in so many different ways, shapes, and forms, um, and I just wasn't quite able to get it. I did put together a team with Thancred, which is definitely pretty interesting. He's definitely tanky, but he's missing the kind of defense penetration slash attack resist penetration that he really needs to do damage. Um, but it is an interesting team. And then lastly, this team is kind of an interesting one because I think this is like kind of a snippet of how Sylvie will be in the future once Light gets the other units. Like she really um, is going to be a fun character because, she, you know, you can kind of run her around in a lot of different comps, kind of like Yuna. But I think like the next strong Light unit that we get that's like a bruiser or a tank she is going to be like absolutely clutch like that unit is going to be so strong if you already have sylvie so i think what i'm going to do today is i'm going to do um 10 battles and i think i'm going to use three teams and i'm going to test out certain teams um and see i think i might switch this tmr and i'm going to show you guys basically a couple different ways of using her um, let me switch over to a different TMR right now. Uh, this will only take a second. But yeah, it's definitely been an interesting <laughs> road so far. I've been like, there have been moments where I'm like just absolutely amped on her, and then other moments where I'm just like, oh my god, why are you doing that right now? <laughs> so <laughs> it's like her, her healing AI is, uh, is, is kind of wonky sometimes it's like she will sometimes go for like not use the limit break and then go for a cure that has cast time and then um <laughs> and then the unit will die and i'm just like you had your limit break what are you doing and so i really wish she had another heal in her main job 
um, because when you run her Blade Soul, she really only has that limit break. Uh, she's definitely an interesting DPS, but yeah, I guess we'll just see how it goes today. Um, I do think that the game is pretty balanced right now. It's not really fair to fire right now, uh, but I think that Ruin Stern will be coming, and yeah, so I'm going to use this team today. I'm going to use this team today. And I'm not quite sure what I'll choose for the third. So why don't we start out with the Astria Celis Sylvie team. And we're going to be going through and checking, uh, you know, there's so many freaking ice teams right now. Okay, and making sure we can find like actually strong teams so that we can get a pretty good read of, uh, of Sylvie herself. Okay, so let's look at this one. Let's check the TMRs. Okay, so these aren't finished. So we want to keep looking. Okay, here might be a good one. Also not finished TMRs. Ooh, this is a tough team. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Not quite finished, but pretty dang close. These are finished. Okay, so this is going to be our first fight of the day. It's going to be, was it this one? All right, so we'll see how it goes right here. Celis is definitely a great tank. She has protective shell, which stacks with the defense and the spirit. So she gets really tanky. Um, I will run through this build after this battle since I just forgot to do it. But uh, yeah, it's definitely been interesting so far. She's definitely, it's like weird getting a new unit, but then feeling like the game isn't really ready for her yet. So I, that's how I've kind of felt recently. But I do think that she is like a touch of the next era of War of the Visions. And so I'm stoked that I did pull for her. Okay, so here we go. Sylvie's over there in the corner. Uh, if Celis takes that path that she did, she can't get off the defense spirit buff at the beginning. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Looks like Celis is uh, going over there with Astrius. Sylvie's going to run in with the little hit right there. There goes Agrius. Alright, Agrius goes down. Snow is going to heal. He's going to get a hit off on them. Astrius goes down, so he didn't actually get off his, um, his courage. All right, Sylvie going for the full life. She's going to raise Celis. That's unfortunate because, well, we're not going to have the DPS to win this fight now. Okay, so Sylvie is going for... So there goes the limit break heal right there. So because of how they ran off at the beginning and they stayed over to the left, they kind of kept Sylvie out of the fight, which is unfortunate. Um, but... As you can see, she is quite the sustaining monster. Like, she definitely, like, um, does a good job of keeping the team alive and keeping herself alive. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, we're slowly getting there. I mean, if we can take down Snow, I think we can tough through Alaya. Okay, now that Sylvie is out of AP, definitely going to be a little tricky. Here comes Snow from behind. Celis is going to go down. And Sylvie is out of AP, which is unfortunate because she could have probably taken down Snow right there, but it's not going to work. Okay, so we're going to take, we're going to lose the first fight. Okay, but that is a pretty dang strong uh, ice team right now. Ice is definitely super strong. Wind is pretty strong. Um, dark is pretty strong. Lightning is pretty strong. I mean, all around, it's pretty good. They just need to fix fire, and it'll be pretty sweet, I think. Okay, so we're going to go into another battle. So maybe I will switch around here. Oh, I should quickly show you guys the um, the builds. So this is Astrius. Here are his back-end stats. Going over to Celis. And her back-end stats. So she's looking pretty dang good. And lastly, we have Sylvie. Obviously, for he like she's just she's looking super solid. Back end stats a little bit less, but all in all, pretty good. 
Um, I'm gonna go over to the full evade team right now. This is Locke. Pretty good. I think he has, let's see, 142 evade. Back end resistance is all positive. Going into Sylvie, here's her stats right here. So she's a little bit lower in this build, but still good. Her back end resistance is. And lastly, we have Elena. Her evade is sitting at 144. So pretty solid. Um, so yeah, evade's definitely pretty good. Let's see here. Okay, so I thought that this was going to be a full lightning team. Um, actually, let's just go for it. Ah, uh, we should fight mono teams. Okay, so let's see here. What do we got? Definitely not that one. Okay, here we go. Resnick, Charlotte, Lightning. Okay, so let's go with this one. Give you guys a little taste of the evade formation of it. Um, yeah, so I wish that I could, you know, I think that I'm still trying to figure out her out so that you can utilize her AI um, like as close to fully controlled as possible, but that's been pretty hard to like get her to do exactly what I want to do. Uh, she's a bit unreadable based on how the units kind of run out off the bat, and this map, map is definitely a little bit tricky for it. Um, but it is going pretty good so far. Okay, so we lost the first fight. Locke and Elena are out. Here comes Lightning. Resnick is in the back. Okay. Okay, Locke is going in. Charlotte's going to go down. I don't even think there's been a single hit that's gone off so far. Wow, nice hit by lightning right there. Definitely with an accuracy build. Okay, so there goes Sylvie with the AoE slow. Locke comes around the back, takes down Resnick. Looks like Sylvie will run over and go for the full life on Elena. It did not work. Lightning comes in. She takes down Sylvie. This is a strong lightning. Okay, Locke comes in right here. We'll see if he can hold it down. Okay, and he does manage to take her down. Alright, so we're basically one and one right now. I'll do two more fights with this uh, evade team. I wanted to do like a few different comps because I feel like there's just so many compositions that you can run with her that it's like, it's kind of crazy actually. It's kind of been like boggling my mind trying to figure out um, exactly how, you know, I want to run them. Okay, so this will be an interesting team. Let's check the trust stones. Okay, perfect. Looks like nearly fully built. Okay, so we'll go for the Earth team right now. Bloody Bullet, that's a pretty cool title. Um, I wonder where, uh, if any of you guys know where that title comes from, that'd be pretty sweet if you could write it in the comments because I keep seeing it and I can't recall where it comes, where it comes from at all. Okay, so here goes Elena. She's going to use the Courage. Zazan's off to the side. He's using Locke's TMR. There goes Locke with his re-raise. Sylvie with the defense spirit buff. Oberon looking pretty strong over there with 10k HP. Okay, there goes Mashiri. She's got her re-raise up. Elena's going to pump her evasion. And Locke is going to pump his as well. Okay, so we're basically maxed evade over here. Oberon is going to have... Uh, Guaranteed hit. Sazan is going to be definitely tougher. He has some evade. Wow, that was a freaking hit from Locke right there. Okay, so the evade definitely holding up pretty good. Sazan is going to be on courage. Sylvie comes in. There goes the limit break. So her AI is looking pretty good right here. So now she's close enough. She got the heal off on everybody. Everyone has the barrier. Sylvie's going to re-go again. Re-raise, remove, and Mashiri is down. So that one was just an absolute crusher. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty sweet unit. I know that a lot of you guys, I think, have pulled for her. And are definitely having fun. My friend Lynx was showing a... I think in the top 20 with Dark Fina, Halloween Lucia, and... Sylvie, interesting composition. 
Um, I just used the select ticket to get Fina, but I don't have all of her shards yet. Um, okay, well, maybe we can find... Ooh, okay, this will be a good one. Okay, so we're going to do one more fight with uh, this team right here. Let's see. Also, Bloody Bullet. Okay, but not good on the Trust Stones. That's unfortunate. Well, we're just going to have an advantage on Trust Stones with this fight. I want to fight a win team. This team has, Joom has guaranteed hit and an AoE, which is interesting. And Glacy is kind of like a flip of the coin. Uh, sometimes her accurate, if she's not built accuracy, then evade holds up. If she is built accuracy, she basically romps evade. So we'll see how this goes. Um, if it's like an absolute destruction, then if it's a close fight, then I think we can safely say that with trust stones, wind, wind has the advantage. So we'll just have to play it by ear and watch how this unfolds. Okay, here comes Glacy. She got the Courage remove and landed two of the hits. Joom has aggro. Locks coming in from the side. Uh, Psyllie can't get the heal off on Elena right here. It's not going to be good. Joom is going to... Oof. Okay, so Elena is going to be down. Okay, Sylvie kind of moving in. Lock getting pulled by Joom right here. Joom almost out of AP. We'll see what Sylvie does right here. Okay, so she went for the Curata. Um, I wish she would have... Ooh, <laughs> that's brutal. <laughs> okay, so like as you can see, this team, even without Trust Stones, is able to hold up pretty good. It really has everything to do with Glacy being able to hit the evade units or not. Um, so it can go both ways. Like, I think that, you know, without a dedicated bruiser or a tank, uh, that's kind of how it goes with Evade. And, you know, I kind of feel like, I don't know, I, Evade is fun, but I don't really like relying on RNG. Um, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, this is brutal. So everyone's trying to take down Locke, and the bait is still pretty high, but he is down. He's going to get the re-raise, and it looks like Glacy's going to take him out. Oh no, she's going to go for the crystal. And Joom can't hit him. Locke goes for the slow, and we run out of moves. Okay, so that was the third fight with the Evade team. I'm going to switch back to the Astria Celis team. And we're going to do that two more times, and then we'll see what we use for the end. Okay, so I'm going to go back to this team right here. And all the Trust Stones are in sync across the board, even though they're different teams, so it's okay. And we're going to fight the same team, and we're going to see how she does with Astrius and Celis over a full evade build, Locke and Elena. Um, so I think there's a lot of comps that you can run her with like in a yin yang formation like two of an element and then sylvie kind of yuna had that capacity where you could kind of just throw her into a team and she could do her job it is interesting um with sylvie not being able to cast re-rays on others um but it is what it is and this map is like you're just too far enough apart at the beginning for her to really like have priority in the buffs Okay, so there goes Celis. She tanked the first hit from Glacy. There goes Astrius on the side. He's not going to get off his courage. Okay, Celis is going to run forward. She's going to go for the magic burst. Glacy's coming out after her again. There goes the Valkyrie burst. Okay, so she's used the Curata East Chime. So she hasn't actually uh, used her limit break yet. There goes Astrius. There's June. Okay, now... Okay, Glacy's over there. She uses the limit break, but it doesn't quite reach Astrius. I'm running him with bells and with courage, but on this map, it's not a guarantee you get off the second buff. Celis coming in super clutch right there with the uh, with the absorb. Astrius is going to go down. Sylvie's going to go for the full life. Astrius is going to get it. 
Joom is basically out of AP. We'll see what uh, what happens right here. Sylvie's gonna go on the attack. Removes the re-raise, Joom is down. Sedali goes for the hit on Astrius, and Astrius takes him down. So, as you can see, like, when she's running with, you know, a strong bruiser and a tank, uh, it's definitely a different uh, ball game. I do wish that we got more units like Astrius. I really enjoy uh, playing Astrius. He's a super fun character. Um, it looks like we have one more fight with this team. So let's look around. Here's a one rank 175. Looks like Snow, Veles, Eliza. Let's look at the trust stones. Not there. Let's keep looking. Free to Peachy. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Okay, 115 Alaya, Himmelswoke. All right, FBN. Ooh, this is an interesting team. I think that we will pass. Wow, if this is actually Jessica Negri, that'd be so funny. I met her at a convention. I was doing a book signing at Anime Expo. Pretty cool. All right, so let's see the trust stones. All right, fully built stones. There's Eliza, Snow, and Aliyah. Okay, we're going to fight Jessica Negri. Let's take her down. This should be pretty fun. We're out of orbs. I'm going to replenish them right here, and we have five more fights. And I'll probably do some fights with Lucio. I might do two fights with Lucio and two fights with Thancred. We'll see how it goes. Um, but, like, you know, I'm trying to make do with Thancred and Lucio, but they're older. I mean, Thancred is, like, one of, basically the oldest unit. And um, funny that Lucio as an AD cost kind of outdoes him uh, in, in a few different ways. But it is pretty fun to run the full mono light team, so I can't, I can't wait for that new unit to come at some point in time. I know that she is a piece to a puzzle and that we don't have the other piece yet. And I think that uh, she's going to be really strong. Okay, so there goes the first reflex on Alaya. Wow, that was a strong hit. And the dodge. Can she survive? I think she... Ooh, so close. Okay, we'll see what we do right here. Okay, definitely looking tough right now. Okay, so Astrius goes down. It's been unfortunate because Astrius has not gotten off his courage in either fight. Here he's going to come back with the full life, but it doesn't matter because he's not even going to get a turn off. We'll see if Eliza can take him down. Okay, so she can't take him down. We'll see what he does. Okay, so Eliza's going to go down. Snow is on Courage. Sylvie's going to go for the heal on Celis. So we are holding up right now. So different from the first fight against Ice. And Snow goes down. Okay, so pretty decent right there. That was a fully built Ice team. Uh, definitely a strong one. You have Snow, Eliza, and Alaya. Um, it's kind of a force to be reckoned with, to be honest. Like, I fought a lot of them. And the really strong ones are really tough. Um, but yeah, Ice is just kind of like a wrecking ball right now. Okay, so that is the team with Astrius, Celis, and Sylvie. Let's go back up. We will try a fight with Lucio. Um, in order to run Lucio, I have to put her on... I have to put on Protect. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Hmm... So many ice teams. Okay, here's an interesting one. Okay, no trust stones at all though. So we're gonna skip that. We'll check this team right here. Nope, not strong enough. Hmm. This seems interesting. Oop, fully built stones. Okay. This is not a mono team, but it is an interesting team. 
and there are fully built stones on it so we'll see how it goes uh, it's definitely fun using lucio uh, bringing him back in as a character i always thought he was super cool um but he does have his limitations and you know sylvie can only do so much so i do think that light is about to shift away from evade i think that the, the fact that sylvie has no evasion in her kit whatsoever um is an indicator that light is going to be moving away from evasion i'm hoping that's the case because evade oh brutal on the move right there by wind glaciella okay lucio's gonna get the protect he's gonna run forward he can do okay but he really needs elena and that's tough when you lose her right off the bat like that so there's the thing sylvie's all the way over there in the corner she's just buffing herself elena could use a full light and she's not running closer this is like one of those things where it's like what is she really doing over there and yeah, just a look can be a little bit frustrating to deal with because we're just basically getting owned right now. Lucio can't hold the battle, and Elena is basically gone. She's gonna go for the full life. No, she's just gonna die. <laughs> okay, so here comes Sylvie. She goes for the full life. It didn't hit. Lucio only has 55 faith, and the fight is essentially over. Yeah. Okay. So as you guys can see, like, although there are some boons to certain playstyles, like it works with Lucio because he's a bruiser. The problem is that Lucio is not a strong bruiser. And so, you know, the, it has these pros and cons as you're going with it. All right, so now let's switch over and try Thancred. Yeah, we'll try Thancred. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Gunny. Let's see if the stones are good. Nope, not good enough. Looking for those strong, strong teams. Uh, not quite there. Alright, so let's just keep searching through here and hopefully we will find something good. Hmm, Dildo Swaggins. I've definitely fought this guy before. Pretty sure Trust Stones will be done. Yeah, so Trust Stones are basically done. Um, Elia is 115, but I think we'll let it slide. Um, let's see. Uh, Trust Stones aren't finished. Plus, is that, um, <laughs> what's her name? Oh, man. Mediana's TMR. I haven't seen that in a long time. Okay. Here's an interesting one. You don't really see Halloween Frederica that often. Trust stones are decent built, but not all of them are there. Ah, that's such a bummer. What else we got here? Oh, you know what? We could fight the exact same team. Okay, this is the team we just fought with Lucio. We're going to try with Thancred. We're going to see if there's a difference. I don't think there's going to be a difference because I'm pretty sure Elena is just going to get rocked from the start again. Um, and that just makes everything all the more difficult. Uh, but yeah, if you fight, if you have Elena and her evade is holding up, it's super strong. But there's just so many units now with guaranteed hit or that can be run high accuracy builds or have like high accuracy hit um, effects. So it's just getting tougher and tougher for evasion. So I don't know how often, how long we're going to go back and forth, like evasion and then, you know, sure hit removal and then all these things. Like it'd be cool to introduce kind of like a new mechanic uh, into the game. So it does look like we are kind of heading down the same path right here. Um, with Thancred, he's definitely looking way more tanky than um, than Lucio was. I think Lucio was basically out for the count by now. Um, but here you can see like kind of Thancred's limitation in damage. So he's holding up. I think Joom is going to be almost out of AP. Oh, 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 oh. 
Third time's the charm, takes him down. Here comes Jaden going after Sylvie, and it looks like it's over. The full life failed on Lucio, the full life failed on Thancred. So that's kind of how that team is working right now. So this is compared to like, you know, this isn't even a meta team that we're fighting. It is a strong team, fully built trust zones, and, you know, they could be running Summer Jaden instead of um, regular Jaden, and that would be even stronger. So this is why I'm saying that, like, it's kind of interesting to get a global exclusive unit um, where it doesn't, like, come out the gates, like, firing. But I think that, like, Sylvie is that sleeper unit because uh, I think that what's coming next to light or whenever we get a bruiser for light, I've heard that maybe the new Shadow Links will be light. I don't think that's going to be the case. Um, because she kind of looks like a dancer and I feel like light just needs a good bruiser right now. And I feel like dancers are kind of like support units. I'm going to go back to this comp. This is the one I'm having the most fun with right now. I would go to one of the dark compositions, but, um, but the trust stones aren't really built. I guess I can show you guys. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's see this. What TMR was Celis running? Yuna's TMR. Yeah, so I don't have the right setup on these right now. So I'm just going to do the last few fights with this team right here. I feel like it's a good kind of indicator for how Sylvie could turn out in the future, um, depending on what light gets. So let's go back down here. And we're going to fight the same team with this team, and we'll see how it goes. But yeah, all in all, final verdict, Sylvie is definitely a fun unit. It's interesting to get a new healer. I feel like healers always have a really long lifespan. Basically, like all the units in the game that get full life essentially have like a period of being in a meta. We know that Sylvie's going to get like a map that's catered to her, and I think she's going to be really strong in that regard. Um, but I do think that if people were looking for this unit that's going to like revive light, I think that light isn't quite there yet. I think that everything that has to do with light right now is kind of like from an era past and that what's coming next year, like with the coming of Sephiroth and we're going to have like Fire Stern, like it's going to be a new era of War of the Visions. Um, I'm not really sure how I feel about the new uh, reincarnation system because, you know, even if people like spend tons of money right now, you can still have a fair fight with them. But once that reincarnation system comes out, you could have someone that just like spends boatloads of money on like mind spheres for Sephiroth and like, you know, I saw like a Yuffie with like 77 resets, you know, so like imagine doing that like a hundred times to Sephiroth. It'd be very, 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 very hard. And so I feel like in that regard, it's like going to be definitely tricky. Okay, so this team absolutely dominated <laughs> that team right there. There was like no contest whatsoever. So it is interesting. There's a lot of different ways you can use her. She's definitely super fun. Um, but yeah, it is a bit tricky figuring out exactly how to use her. All right, so what do we got? One fight left. We fought a ton of ice teams. That's an earth team. Whoa, I haven't seen her in a while. Let's see what else is here. Are there any mono wind teams? Yes, but it's not quite what we're looking for. It's crazy. Ice is just freaking rampant right now. It's almost like fire could use a new unit. <laughs> All right, let's see. That's not quite the wind team we're looking for. Here's TK. Okay, if the trust stones are good on this, which I don't think they are. Yep. Um, let's see what we got. Lights? No. Imagine? Yeah. Close? Let's see what they are on Alaya. Okay. This looks like a pretty fun one. Okay, so this will be the last fight of the night. It's going to be the Double Gunners and Agrius. 
Um, so let's see how this goes. I do know that with Celis having her high, higher faith stat, um, Agrius's limit break will probably proc confusion on her. But I think that we should be able to hold down pretty well. We'll have to see how it goes. Okay, so 8.5k over there on Alaya, which is pretty good. I've seen her almost at 9k. So when you're like looking at some of the light units right now, it's like Elena's like 7k, Locke is like 6,000 something. Even Sylvie, like, you know, she breaks 9k. So it's like, <laughs> they definitely need a little bit more bulk in their kit, which I think is coming. Okay, there goes the Knight's Blessing. Nice to see her use that. Celis running out. And the show is about to get started. Celis is immobilized. Astrius coming in from the side. Ooh, big hit from him right there. Agrius is going to go down. Clean piercer over here by Eliza. She takes out Celis. Okay, here we go. Astrius is going to move forward and take down Eliza. Sylvie's going to go for the heal on Astrius. And it looks like... Alaya is going to go down. So yeah, this is basically my favorite comp for right now. I've tried so many. It's the one that has like the most sync, I guess, is what I'm looking for um, among the characters. And yeah, it's hard to sync Sylvie with light, I think, properly right now. I'm not saying that it can't be done. It can definitely be done in numerous different ways. Um, but like the true sync that I'm looking for, like true sync between the three units is like what I'm always shooting for in a team. Um, sometimes it's harder to find than others. So yeah, this will be capping my 120 uh, final verdict for Sylvie. Uh, essentially, I think she's going to be like a wine where she just gets better with age. So if you did pull her, I do think that it's going to pay off in the long run. Um, she might be a little frustrating to use. She's definitely like um, more of an advanced character uh, to, in order to get her to do things properly. But if you do spend the time with her and figure her out, I think that she will not let you down in the end. All right. Well, that being said, I just want to thank you guys for liking these videos. Uh, I really appreciate it and for subscribing to the channel. Um, it's huge. I like basically rocketed past 700 subscribers with that last 115 Sylvie video. So I'm happy that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for, you know, being a part of what I like to do. And that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care and peace.